Although it was way too early to be celebrating Christmas right now, I was able to watch the best Christmas pageant ever, so let's review it. Now just for a bit of context, this isn't just some random movie, it was based on a book, and there's a play of it, and I was in the play, not once, but twice. So I knew what the story was going into this movie. And I love the play, I love the book. Now this review is going to be different from my other reviews, I won't break it for what I like and don't like, I'll just talk about the movie as a whole, blend both what I liked and didn't like together, and just talk about it from there. And before I start anything off, I just want to say that you do not have to go to church to enjoy this movie. You do not have to be religious to enjoy this movie. I don't go to church, I enjoyed it just fine. Yes, there's a bunch of jokes and certain elements you won't understand in here, but since I wasn't part of the niche audience, and I still ended up enjoying it, and in fact I enjoyed the story for the last decade or so, I think it's been a decade since I've been in the play, I've been enjoying it ever since. Like I said, I'm not part of that niche, and I still ended up enjoying it. I encourage you guys do not judge it off of that niche, because you may end up enjoying the movie in the end. Just a story in here, yes it's generic, it's a generic story, it works better in the books and the play, it doesn't feel as generic. But bringing it into a movie kind of makes it feel generic. But it is all saved from the humor, the theme, the characters, everything. Just the main message is Christmas themed. It's a Christmas themed movie. Knowing what the true meaning of Christmas is and how just anyone can enjoy it. This is that family movie themed for a Christmas movie. And this movie is very, very funny. Now, yes, there was a lot of jokes in here that I didn't understand because I don't go to church. It would help for most of the jokes in here. If you went to church, you'll understand them a lot more. But the jokes I did get were pretty funny. And the characters in here, it starts off with the Herdmans showing these characters are rude kids. They're rude. And these parents don't want anything to do with them. And just the way the movie tackles the theme, it kind of brings those elements together. Like I said, makes the Christmas movie, makes a family Christmas movie. This is this year's Christmas movie. Forget red ones. That's not good reviews. Focus on the best Christmas pageant ever. Great reviews. And is this year's Christmas movie. And don't judge this movie until you see it. Some people are judging it just because of the niche. But like I said, I enjoyed it and I'm not part of that niche. So just watch it. If that's in theaters or not. I do think that this movie is worth watching this year for Christmas. If you just want to put it on while putting up decorations, if you want to just put it on while doing something Christmas related, go ahead. But I do think this movie is worth watching even if you're not part of that niche. Although I only gave the best Christmas pageant ever a 7 out of 10, it's a predictable story, but it works as a Christmas movie. Saying this is a new Christmas classic is not on the level of Elf Home Alone or any of those classics. Because I love to play, I feel like I'll be watching it every other year or so. Could be different for other people, but that's just my opinion. I do think the best Christmas pageant ever is worth watching. And if you're in the niche or not, it's worth watching for this year's Christmas movie. Anyways, if you liked this video, maybe these was on the side of Institute too. Like, subscribe, and see you guys next time. Goodbye.